Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. If you are new here, let me tell you real quick what I do. Because for my title, I put gas prices are getting high, right? All of us know that they are increasing across the country, some places more than others. And what I do is making money from home. And I make a lot. I was able to quit my full-time job two weeks ago, and this is all I do. So for those of you that have not yet started doing this, I want to tell you our sales are still great. So I am going to show you thousands of dollars of sales over the last month since I did the last one of these videos. So this video is only going to include high dollar what sold items that sold on eBay, Poshmark, and Etsy. Now, if you have never done reselling, it is pretty easy to get started. You can start with stuff you have in your house. You're actually going to see some I sold from my house. And you simply list it on an online marketplace such as eBay, Facebook, Etsy, and Poshmark. Now, I will tell you, and I want to make sure I'm perfectly clear about this, I have built this business up to where it is over two years. So I knew I wasn't happy in my job. I knew I wanted to quit. So I pushed and pushed and pushed. So while it is easy to make money like this, it is a lot of work. Now for me, and I feel like for most resellers, it doesn't feel like work. It is so fun. I am leaving after I finish this video to go down south to Venice Beach, Florida and pick up an auction hall and I'm gonna go to the beach and find some shark's teeth, right? Like who wouldn't love doing that? And I mean, you might not, but I, I think most people probably would. So treasure hunting, finding stuff on auction, going down and actually getting to sift through sand and find some shark's teeth. So all that you have to do to start is go in your house, find stuff you're not using, take some pictures and list it on eBay. It, it is as simple as that. It really is. But in order to get consistent sales, you need to have a good amount of items listed. I have almost 4,000. I'm four away, four away from 4,000 listings. We have done $12,000 in the last 30 days. We had two months, we hit 20,000. Our average over the last two years has been 10,000. Now that is not all profit. I figure about 50% of that is profit because there are fees, there are shipping costs, there are the cost of your shipping materials. So don't go in thinking all of this is money. It, it is probably about half for me, which is why I like to buy low at 10 to 20%. So these items that you see are going to be $50 sales, including shipping, because some of you might choose to use a free shipping model. It is not something I do. I do calculated shipping so that the buyer pays exactly what I pay for shipping. Now, I also promote my listings, I promote them high. So if you are having slow sales and you are already reselling, a couple of things you could do to try and kick those into gear during this very, very difficult time where a lot of people are worrying about the gas prices is to put a store-wide sale on. I find that 20% or higher tends to work best for me. You also can promote your items. I promote it trending, been doing it for years and it works well for me. I am happy getting more volume, even though it's costing me more in fees because in the end I am making more money. Now, the other thing that you will want to do to have consistent sales is list consistently. Make sure you are listing stuff that people want. And the nice thing about this high dollar stuff, guys, people that buy a lot of high dollar stuff are not necessarily going to be impacted by the gas prices. They might be impacted, but where they are financially, they're still going to buy what they want. And that is where the high dollar stuff comes in. I sell stuff from $3 and up. I do not only sell this high dollar, but a lot of people only like to see the high dollar. So if you have small area to work in, you might want to focus on these higher dollar and smaller items. Or if you're like me and have big sheds and have room, then you can do a good variety. And I think that helps with consistent sales. So let's go ahead and take a look at what sold on eBay, Poshmark, and Etsy over the last month for over $50. Here 
here are my Poshmark sales for the last month. Now, actually, it's not the last month. This is only the last 11 days. I have sold $400 on Poshmark. I did just get back on Poshmark. I don't know how to view the, the last This month. is a Yadro. I only paid $5 for her. She sold for $75. Now, if you do not know Yadro yet, keep an eye out for these. This $60. Well, actually, this was about a $55 profit because Poshmark is higher in fees. So you can see I show these from every angle. I show the bottom there which does say Yadro. So if you are out looking, to my knowledge, Yadro is all marked. And then I also show with the tape measure. So keep an eye out for Yadro and be aware guys on Poshmark stuff sells other than clothes. And you will see that here coming Next, up. This was about a $90 profit. This is a longa burger tray. I paid $8. It sold for 132. After fees, I made $100. So keep an eye out. Here is the marking on the bottom of the Longa Burger baskets. This was a 2004, so it was not even vintage. I do, again, show all of the measurements as well as the height of this. And I show the whole bottom of the basket. So Longa Burger does sell. The bigger pieces, in my experience, sell for more. And this one was an amazing profit. And it sold on Poshmark. Next, I wanted to show you guys this because this is a big sale. So this is a bundle and I'm going to open and show you these each individually because they sold for $30 each. Two of them sold for $56 and $45, but I want you to make sure you keep an eye out. This is a pillowcase. It sold for $32. I could tell it was really, really high quality when I looked at it in Goodwill. I got this at Goodwill for $1.59. So this is over a $25 profit by itself. This bundle was well over a $100 profit. Here is another one, same maker, another pillowcase from Goodwill for $1.59. If you see high quality items for cheap, pick them up. And these sold in the home department of Poshmark. Another thing I love that I make good profits on regularly is jewelry. This was a sterling silver brooch. I bought a lot of sterling silver brooches for $5 each. And this one sold for $56. So this one itself is about a $40 profit. And these sold very, very fast. And the last is another brooch. I picked this up in person at Renninger's Antique Fair for $40 or I paid $5, it sold for $45. So this is about a $35 profit. And then another pillowcase, guys, watch out for those linens, do not miss them, and over $100 profit. All right, these two were a $56 order. This was the main one. This is Octavia, this is the meal plan that I am doing. I had these in my cabinet and I was not eating them. They were going to expire soon. So look in your cabinet, you would be surprised at food items as well as electronics. And I said, okay, done. Let me change the price. They bought it and they paid immediately. This is an Ambro type 10 photograph of a young woman. Now the case is broken. You can see here it is in two pieces. This is about a $70 profit. I am pretty new to Etsy. I get a lot of Etsy questions. However, unfortunately, I am so new. I am not that great at helping. I will tell you guys, I do run sales as well as send offers to likers. That's an option you can turn on and I think that helps. Here, $60, Ken Edwards Tanala, guys. This has been on my last few what sold. I picked these up in an online auction and this set of four sold for $60. And you can see again, show the size of the cups as well as the bottom where it is marked. I wanted to show you guys this because a lot of you wouldn't think to look up Pioneer Woman. So these are Pioneer Woman curtains. They were opened, but they were not used. And these were from an old pallet. These were sitting here for two years. They are from 2000, so they are considered vintage. That is how they were on Etsy. I paid less than a dollar. They sold for $46, and they are making me about a $40 profit. 
And then this was a $46 off order with shipping. So I wanted to show you, this is a vintage Wedgwood little vase or cup. I do show the bottom there. I show it closer up so they can see it is marked Wedgwood made in England. Show the height. It sold for 33 plus shipping. And I picked this up for $2 at a yard sale. So this is over a $25 profit. So if you see listing on these different platforms gets you more sales. So that's why I love using List Perfectly to get my items on to Etsy and Poshmark and Facebook. And it brings me more sales. You will see the majority of my sales are on eBay. Helps me make more money. Hundred and sixty nine dollars this is a really pretty cockle shell speaking of shells that i'm going to hunt today very very amazing work you want to make sure to show that up close like we did here having your pictures clear is very important if you want to sell these high dollar items you need to show them the quality is there so this one sold in less than a month. I paid $15 for this on an online auction and it is over $150 profit. Do not pass up the baskets, guys. Do not pass them up. This one is exquisitely made. All right, now we are gonna get into eBay. I wanna show you my back door, show you I am not hiding anything. These are truly my sales. You can see we're at $11,779. We are up 1.6% from the last month. So if you think gas prices are the only reason your sales are going down, I'm gonna tell you you're wrong. There is something else going on. You will have slow days. Look at yesterday for me. I only did $184. Today we are at 46. But if you go back over this month, $120, $109, $68, guys. I have 100,000 listed in inventory. That is very, very low for me. Keep in mind, again, I have 4,000 items listed. If you don't have 4,000, do not compare yourself to me. You can use me for motivation. You can use me as a mentor up to, but do not compare yourself to me. If you do not have the same amount of items listed, that is key. If you're trying to compare yourself to someone who has a different business plan and different setup, you're not doing yourself justice. You need to compare yourself only to you. All right, let's take a look at this Kachina Dancer statue. I paid $2 for this at a thrift store, sold for $35, so about a $25 profit. You can see here some of the stones are missing. What I really liked was these turquoise stones here on the trim. And again, I'm zooming in and showing them. You can also, what's cool is see the fingerprints where somebody made this. So really, really like this statue. If you know me, I love Native American items. And this one sold in about five months, I believe. Let's scroll up a little bit. It, actually, it sold in two months. Sold in two months. It sold pretty fast. So definitely, if you have stuff you love and you think you can keyword it well, pick it up. This is not branded. Look at the face there inside of the Kachina costume. This is not branded. It is not signed on the bottom, but it was a very good profit. Next is some yarn. This yarn sold in two months as well. I picked this up at Goodwill for $3.99. I searched for Cascade Peruvian wool to know how much it was selling for and knew that I would make a good profit on this. So again, I put lot of six. I put bundle because you want to put different words that people might think of when they are looking at your items. This one was just listed the middle of January. I did take a best offer of $40 on it. I paid five. This is a little cloisonne cat teapot. People collect animal stuff, be it cats, be it birds, be it rabbits, be it koalas, whatever. People like animal stuff, guys. Watch out for it. This one was a really, really cute piece. It was marked on the bottom, Trade Aid 1995, so it was a vintage. In case you don't know, vintage at this point is anything 2002 and later. Show the size that it's miniature, and this, this one was about a $30 profit. 
This one did take a little bit longer to sell. So I did take an offer of $35. I had it priced at 50, but it was listed since August. I only paid a couple dollars for this. You can see it is old. You see the crazing there, the crackling in the glass. I do zoom in to show that. You wanna make sure your buyers are aware. There is also staining on this due to age. I show the size. Here is the mark. So if you were in a thrift store looking, you would look up AJ Wilkinson England Pitcher and you would find this, you would find it. So it's really, really easy to just go on the eBay app, type in what you are seeing and see if it's going to sell. I am okay with waiting a little bit longer if you have limited space and see that most of these items are taking longer to sell. And by that, I mean there are more listed than there are sold. Then this is something you might wanna pass up. But this is an absolutely beautiful piece and it was about a $25 profit. Number of 2020, I took a $40 best offer on it. I had it listed at $51. This is a very, very small piece. You will not see the ruler with it because this was listed a long time ago. I was not yet doing that. Inches and a beautiful, beautiful drip glaze. This is by Merritt Island Pottery. This is one of their maker's marks and it is signed on the bottom, Merritt Island Potters. So you do wanna zoom in, get that mark. Again, you would be able to look this up and see how long it was taking to sell. So if you are not looking at pottery, I definitely recommend you doing so. You are gonna see some amazing high, high dollar pottery items coming up here soon. This Carolyn Pollock ring was listed in December. I accepted an offer of $41. I was having a slow sales day. I will accept lower offers if I'm having a slow sales day than I would on a day I'm having good ones. I do zoom in and show here the CP, which is for Carolyn Pollock, 925. So you do wanna make sure people can see that it is marked. And then you also want to put the size. So this ring, I paid about $12 in an online auction. It's only about a $20 to $25 profit, but it got my sales kicked in for the day. Next are my Ken Edwards Tanala. So this was a $30 sale plus 20 in shipping because they were on the West Coast. But I wanted to show you guys the Ken Edwards again because a lot of his pieces sell for high dollar. This was about a $15 profit for me, so not a ton. But if you sell sets of these, you can make quite a bit of money. I got lucky and found a very large set on an online estate auction and made over $1,000 on the set. So here again, showing the measurement on these saucers, showing the back and zooming in to show the maker's mark. This is another one that was listed for two years. I paid, I believe $6.99 for it at the thrift store. It sold for $40. It was team issued. It was team issued. That's what the sticker is. I actually found five of these shirts at the same time. It is a Nike Dry Fit XL. You can see the Jordan symbol here, the Florida Gators. And this one is about a $30 profit, but keep an eye out. Some of these sold really fast and some of them sold up to, I believe, $85 or $90. And I paid $6.99 each for these. These sold fast. They were ended, they were listed at the end of January. They sold for $45.49. I paid, I believe, around $10. They were in a bundle. They've got the little Thunderbird symbol here, which was key for this listing. I show the beads up close, show a measurement there. They are some hair combs. They are Native American beadwork. Again, I love Native American items. These were about a $28 profit and they sold in about a month. This one sold for a best offer of $46. This was listed in October. So it took about three and a half, four months to sell. It is not branded, but it is a beautiful hand-painted gold peacock. Again, animal stuff sells, keep an eye out. I paid less than $5. This is about a $37 profit. It is old, I could tell by the class. Some certain class will kind of give away the age of items. I don't know exactly, I have not studied it that long. Pick it up in an online auction lot. This one was listed in October as well. I took an offer of just under $40. You can see I zoom in to show the flowers there. I'm also showing that it is shipped on the base. Make sure you point out the flaws that they have. 
Now, this also has discoloration, which I am showing here. You do not want to misrepresent your item to your buyers. It is extremely important to show the item as it is. This one has wear on the bottom edges there. You can see, zoom in. It, I could not read this. I could not read this to have it named, but I do show it with the tape measure and it's still sold again, less than $5 in and about a $25 profit on this one. All right, these I'm gonna just click on, not gonna make them big. Again, stuff that was in my cabinet expiring this month, guys, expiring this month, sold for $51. I did not make much profit on these here. This one sold for 21. Um, I did make a tiny bit, but the key was they were sitting in my cabinet not being used and they were going to expire soon. This one was good until July, but if I had kept letting them sit there, I would have had to throw them away and that would have essentially been throwing money away. So instead I pulled all the ones I wasn't using and I listed them. This one sold in under two weeks for $46. I got this from Lori who actually reached out to me because I have my YouTube channel. So it does afford me some nice sourcing opportunities sometime. I do show that it is signed Paul Goebel there. This is a print. So I zoomed in on the year here, 1976. I showed measurements. This was a Native American print. And this one sold in two weeks and made me about a $38 profit. About three months. It sold for an offer of $44. I sent them an offer of 15% off. I've had it three months. I only paid $2 for this at a garage sale. This is 2009 F NFC South Division Champions. It is a Reebok and I watch out for the sports stuff. Another big thing here, guys, it was a 2XL. The bigger sizes tend to sell well and they sell faster, I feel like, online. This picture, if you are wondering, I do have a video. If you search the nurse flipper photo, you will see this is just laid out on the floor with the background removed. This one made us a $35 profit. It's since May, but it sold for $45. This cute little bunny was handmade. Her little watermelons were actually painted on. I only paid a dollar for her in a buyout. She is almost a $40 profit. You can see here she was weighted to kind of like sit on a shelf or a cabinet. And I did splay her dress out there and show it. And you can look here at my keywords, handmade doll, watermelon dress, apron, folk art. Really, really good profit. She was really cute. I'm not sure if I would have picked her up by herself. I can't necessarily say that I would have, but when I get stuff in auction lots, I make sure to list all of them. Next, this is one of the two, I believe there are two or three items you are going to see on auction. You see here one bid. Most of my items are done by it now. I got this one at Renninger's Antique Fair. I paid $5. I listed it at 50. I have sold some of these upwards of $300. The subject matter matters, the condition of the book. And I wasn't really sure on the value. That's why I placed it on a $50 auction. I am happy with the $50. I made a $40 profit on it. It could have went higher. It could have went higher. It did not, but I am happy with that. And doing auctions is a quick way to flip those items fast. But I would make sure the key here is you start at the least amount you're willing to take. I wanted to get at least $50 for this, and I did. All right, now we are getting into the items that actually cost $50 plus shipping. All of the items you have seen until now were $50 with the shipping. Now we're going to look at some that were $50 without the shipping. Now, this one here, I picked up at an antique mall. I paid $10, and it sold for $50. It is a beautiful, beautiful glass seahorse figurine or paperweight with the swirl glass. You can see almost nine inches. And this one was about a $38 profit and it sold in only a couple of months. Here is the other auction item. So it sold in seven days because it was on an auction. Again, I paid $5, so it's about a $40 profit. This one had the little girl there with her wand. Beautiful, beautiful picture. I did show the velvet had come away from it. Again, if there are flaws, make sure you show them. 
again with the tape measure. And as far as these, I think keywords are important. This was an Ambro type. I put baby princess dress with a wand. So that is a really great keyword there. And again, a $40 profit on this photo. This one took a little longer to sell. It's just under $50. I paid only $5 for this in an online auction lot. It took about eight months to sell, but beautiful, beautiful glass vase. This, These marks were done in the manufacturing, but I felt like it was a flaw, so I wanted to make sure I highlighted that. But this was an absolutely beautiful piece with an applied handle there, eight inches tall, and about a $40 profit for us. This one sold in under two months. I did use Dresden style as a keyword. This is not a Dresden piece. I only paid $5 for her. You can see I zoom in close to show here, there is a piece of the lace missing. And I show all angles as well as a close up of the sticker close up of the face, and then I show the height, the width, and it was marked, but I could not read the mark, so that's why I put Dresden style. I could not find any information from the sticker on this, even using Worth Point, but she sold in under two months and made us about a $40 profit. This one sold in about three months. This is a Satsuma vase, very, very pretty with the floral, and you can see some crazing there when you look up close. The back was plain. I do show the bottom and a close-up of the signature. I think it's very, very important. And then I show the height of this. So it took three months to sell. I am only about $5 into this. So this is about a $40 profit. And I did take a best offer on this one. This one sold in under two weeks for $55. I paid $5 for this from George the Antique Nomad. It is Campagna. There were not many comps, but this is 100% merino wool styled in Italy exclusively for Zambedi. You can see the flowers here. This was beautiful. It sold very, very fast, guys, showing the total length here also showing the width of the blanket. And this one was over a $45 profit in under two weeks. If you are not looking at linen, start. This stuff does not break. It is easy to photograph. That is thrown on the carpet, photographed and background removed. If you are not looking at it, then I suggest you start. Another, not gonna make it big, stuff in my cabinet, $71. It was sitting there, it would have got thrown away, it would have expired, instead I listed it and got my $70 back. All right, I sold two of these for about $55. I still have one left. These are Red Wing stoneware. They are village green and they are not marked. I did research and a lot of them are not marked. So I felt comfortable listing them as Red Wing and the oomph. Okay. I look this up, guys. I will tell you what oomph means is it's another word for bakeware by Red Wing. Where did I find that keyword? I found it from sold listings. I kept seeing oomph, oomph, oomph. I'm like, I'm putting oomph in there. And I looked it up and it is another word used by Red Wing for bakeware. I set for myself, but I was not going to use these. So just the sale of these two paid for my entire set. I have a ton in my house. Plus I have also sold other items from this collection already. So I bought for myself, but what I wasn't going to use, I listed on eBay. Another one, not gonna stay too long in my cabinet, would have got thrown away $80. Do you see all of this money that was sitting in my cabinet that would have got thrown away had I not listed it? Just wanted to point that out. Now, this one took about three months to sell. $100 sale on a Levi's jean jacket. Look for the tags. This one, you can see the red mark. This was $3 at my local thrift store. I do show the back here. And on the back, you can see there are rust stains. This would have sold higher if these stains were not there, but it still sold for $100. Watch out for older Levi's. 
especially jean jackets, they sell well. This was a larger size. I do feel that helped. And this was over an $85 profit in about three months. More stuff in the cabinet, almost a hundred bucks, guys. More stuff in the cabinet. Just showing you, again, you might come across these at a yard sale. Maybe somebody did Octavia. Make sure you check the expiration date. But if you come across these for cheap, they sell for an average of $20 to $25 a box. This purse took about eight months to sell, but it sold for $94. I took a best offer. This one was not overly impressive. It's not bright, but it is still Mandalian. I am going to show you what I mean. So here you also can see it was missing tassels, which is another reason it sold lower in addition to it not being a very bright pattern. But here on the inside of these purses, they are marked Mandalian USA. Keep an eye out for these purses. They are flapper purses. They sell very well. If you get lucky and come across a lot of these, I would definitely pick them up. I did pay $50 for this a lot, so it's only about a $30 profit, but I have some that are listed for several hundred dollars that will make me a lot more profit than this one. In two days, $85. This is that same lot that I bought for myself. I almost kept these. I'm glad I didn't because when I looked them up and saw what they sell for, I was very, very impressed. This sale put that lot into the profit. $85 sold in less than two days. Again, they are not marked. There are your measurements. And this was over a $100 sale with the shipping and these I only paid like 50 cents a piece for, 50 cents a piece. This was over a $70 profit. All right, this was a combined order. There are two, the Ken Edwards Tanala Cups. Again, keep an eye out for Ken Edwards Tanala. There is the KE, which they are all marked with if they are Ken Edwards. These are very small cups and this set sold for $69 along with this set here that sold for $60 as well. This was over $120 dollar order. I paid about $5 a piece for these. This was about an $80 profit with the two guys, with the two, these and the cups. All right. This one sold for $83. This was in an auction lot I got and it is Pottery Barn, Pottery Barn, not vintage, but you can see I put large blue case glass canister. I identified this using the Google Lens app to know that it was Pottery Barn. Really, really beautiful piece. Only paid $5 for it. It is about a $70 profit. So when stuff looks cool like this, definitely try and locate it by Google Lens. This is something I probably would have picked up even if I had not been able to identify. All right, we are getting into some higher dollar stuff. This one is actually coming back to me. And I'm going to look here and see if I can see it in the pictures. If not, this was damaged in shipping. It had a crack in the bottom. And I am not seeing it in this photo, which means it was damaged in shipping. So I am taking this item back. I will resell it with note of the crack. But I wanted to show you guys this Murano 2D Fruity Bowl sold for over $100 and it will be coming back. It was returned and they happen and this was a high dollar return and they suck, but it will sell again and it will sell with the crack. Uh, the crack was not there when I shipped it out, so it had to have been damaged, but keep an eye out for stuff like this with like the twisted ribbons and the different colors. They tend to sell very Another well. Another item I was not using that sold in under a month, sold for $105. This is a GoPro backpack. So if you see my videos where I am outsourcing, I do use a GoPro, but what I do instead of using this backpack, which I thought I would use, is I use a clip on my purse. So this one has the clip on the shoulder. I bought this, was not using it, and got my money back, $105. I wanna say I paid about 140, so it was a little bit of a loss, but again, something that was just sitting here not being used. Another one, look at this, sitting in the cabinet, $117 that didn't get thrown away. This one was listed about six months. I paid 
it sold for over a hundred dollars it is about an 85 dollar profit it is a very cute yorkie one of you when i showed this previously said you had this cook jar and you have a yorkie people love their pets and they love collecting stuff that is like their pets this one was uu perfect solutions made in china guys not always a cheap thing not always a cheap thing this was a big cookie jar 12 inches saw this at the thrift store could not leave it there behind and it ended up being over an 80 dollars profit this one sold in under two months paid 12 dollars at renninger's antique fair this one is close to a 90 dollar profit this is called champlevé it is it reminds me of cloisonne but it is not cloisonne it does have these cutouts here and not all of the vase is enameled there is some cloisonne on it here but not the entire piece now this one again close to a 90 dollar profit about 12 inches i got lucky with this most of them were selling for the hundred dollar mark i just happened to find a seller who had it priced lower i think they actually had it priced at 20 dollars, and i only had 12 dollars in cash left and i said what the heck i'm gonna ask them i asked them and they took it so really really good profit collector's plates are something i normally pick up these seven sold for 90 dollars in under a month the reason why I believe is they are Disney and they are a set. So I do not necessarily, I don't spend a lot of time on collector's plates because most of them were mass produced. They are not worth money. But if I see Disney sets or even really any Disney ones, I look them up. Some of them are worth a ton of money, especially if they were limited edition. I did have all the certificates of authenticity to go with them. They sold really fast. So don't, with every category that we're going to say there were too many made, they're not going to sell. There are going to be exceptions that will make you profit. Just remember. All right, I took a best offer of 120 on this one. I did pay 50. It's still about a $50 profit. She is absolutely beautiful. This is a piano baby. This is a bigger one. You can see it is stamped. We have received positive feedback. She's about nine inches. And again, $50 profit. I found one of these at Goodwill, guys, at Goodwill for $2.99 that sold for about the same, over $120. Keep an eye out for these bisque porcelain piano baby hundred dollar plus stuff now this sold in under two months this is a harmony kingdom jungle book figurine you can see the disney and size there on the back and then again show all angles inside of this little trinket box were some bananas which is really cute this is another made in china item that sold for over a hundred dollars guys over a hundred bucks it was, let's see, this one was not a limited production. Most of my Harmony Kingdom that sold high were limited production. This one was not, I paid about $30 for this and it's about a $50 profit. Watch out for Disney stuff, look it up, check it out while you're out. All right, sourcing. this one here sold for $120. I took a $120 offer, it was listed for eight months now i only paid 12 dollars for this purse in an online auction it is brand new it had tags on it for 495 dollars our value 295 okay brand new saint john tags came with the dust bag never used it shipped out yesterday and it is a hundred dollar profit i look at everything that includes purses it includes linen everything if it catches your eye especially something like this where you see a tag that says 295 dollars look it up look it up always does not mean it will sell for that much but this one sold for 120 and made us a hundred dollar profit all right this one sold for an offer i sent out of 111 dollars i paid five dollars for this at a church garage sale look at how beautiful the work is framed needle points are another thing i look up also needle point pillows and this one was over a hundred dollar profit and it sold in under a month under a month guys beautiful beautiful work of art i really appreciate this vintage artwork keep an eye out again like cherry blossoms birds 
keyword it. This was silk art, Asian silk thread embroidery, bamboo flowers, keyword it, $100 profit, paid $5 ball gloves sold for $120 paid $5 at the flea market I did show this in my recent what sold video again I looked up flare design type F Louisville slugger here is the professional pattern mark and that is what you need to look up right here FLS 1150 to get comp so if you're outsourcing you see a baseball glove simply turn it over look at that number look it up on eBay and you might have yourself a hundred dollar profit Here's some more photos they wanted natural light Sun photos these were all under my um, fluorescent lights or LED lights this clasp here I found on other vintage ones and this class is sterling silver so that was a keyword i used showing close up of the jade there and again sold really fast sent the buyer extra pictures they were happy with it i only paid five dollars in an online auction lot this is over a hundred dollar profit on a necklace Three months a hundred and ten dollar sale it is concrete guys it is concrete I got this actually at the same auction I got that jade necklace from. It was a mid-century modern auction. I just put Art Deco mid-century modern sculpture. This went out to California. It is 10 inches. I used Instapack to pack this. I showed that in my What Sold video on Monday. A hard foam that forms around the item from American Bubble Boy. This, again, less than $10 in and close to $100 profit for a piece of concrete now here mid-century modern abstract white heavy cement art sculpture original deco that's it that's it sold in under two months missed out on this one so i took an offer of 175 dollars the bad thing about this is that I got an offer of 300 right after I listed it. I declined it. I was like, no, I'll get 350. Well, I was wrong. I should have accepted that first $300 offer. Instead, this sat here for two years. This is another from Merritt Island Potters, one of my favorite potters. So I was being stubborn. I was being stubborn. I could have got 300. Instead, I took 175. I only paid $12 though, so it was over $150 profit, but it could have been a $250 profit. Sometimes guys, if you get a high offer in the beginning and you didn't pay much, you just need to take it. You just need to take it or you might end up like me losing out on $100 and having to wait an extra this one sold in two months for $196. I am less than $15 in. This is over $150 profit. This is a Tiffany & Co. ornament. It is not sterling silver. As you see, it is glass. It says Tiffany & Co. 1992. It is partridge in a pear tree. Big, big profit. Show in here with the marks. Show it hanging. And this was just an incredible, incredible offer. Now, or actually it sold for full price, sold for full price, 196, over 100 and probably about $160 profit. So keep your eye out for stuff marked with Tiffany & Co. Not all of it sells high. Do not be fooled. I have found Tiffany pieces for $30 that only sell for $30. So make sure you do comps before you pay up. These for sold stuff. in under two weeks and they were sitting in my death pile. $200 handmade glass plates. So look at plates when you find them and you will see a difference in quality. These were very thick, very nice handmade. Now, they also were all signed Annie Glass. So make sure to look for signatures when you see stuff like this that catches your eye. Again, sold in under a week. We're sitting in my death pile a year. Watch out for plates and check for signatures on everything you look at, guys. All right, this was a combined order. Two of these sold for $224. I sent out offers of $112. So these I got up in Pennsylvania last time I was there. I will be going again in two weeks, excited about that. These were in a case. These are Corning glass pens. These are vintage. This sign is from the Corning factory. I could have sold this as a case as a big lot. Instead, I chose to break them up. I paid $400 for 
for the whole thing. I got 15 of them. So I'm about $70 into the two that sold, which is this one here, as well as this one here. Now this one is cobalt blue. I put that in the title because it was really hard to capture that cobalt blue with the camera. Now here you can barely see on the edge of it, but I did make sure to put it in my title. So between the two of these, about $120 profit, and I still have 12 of them All right, left. Now we're getting into some big money. I only paid 15 bucks for this in an online auction. I did take an offer of 175. Again, sales were low. It was almost $100 less than I was asking, but I knew I only paid 15 bucks. This is not signed. This is not signed. It's not a known artist. It is vintage. It is in a beautiful frame. It is a hundred and forty dollar profit. If you're wondering how I ship these, I was making boxes for them. I do wrap them in bubble wrap from American Bubble Boy, which is really cheap. If you're not buying from American Bubble Boy, definitely do that. But now that I'm selling more of these larger art pieces, I have ordered in three different sizes of boxes from Amazon. They do cost about $10 to $12 a box, but that's okay when you've got $140 profit to spend an extra $10 on shipping. This one was an amazing, amazing profit. I actually am picking up three more clipper ship pictures and paintings today down in South Florida. All right, we are down to the final few. We are getting into the big money now. Big money, big money. This one sold for an offer of $258. I paid about $60. This is about $170 profit. These were bought in an online auction. These are Louis Medic. He is a potter out of Washington State. That is where these bowls went. You can see here on the bottom, they are all marked. They do all have SFF on the bottom he marked his bowls when they went out as sets with the same number or letters and these were a matching set you can see they were pretty small five inch bowls and sold for 258 dollars guys 258 over 175 dollar profit on pottery check them out when you see them you can read the mazik on the bottom look up these makers when you find marked pottery pieces this one just went out, just went out. So the cool thing is they only wanted the shade. That's all they wanted. They sent me a $190 offer. They only wanted the shade. I was perfectly fine with that. This was a beautiful, beautiful lamp. What sucks here is the bottom was missing. It did have stained glass on a bird over this. I sold another lamp like it for 250. They only wanted the top though, which I was happy to provide them for $190. I paid 40 for this and it will be about a $125 profit. Now, one of my viewers is going to be buying the lamp, which is absolutely beautiful and picking it up for me at my Orlando camp, which I will talk to you about right after we look at this next sale, which is the highest sale. All right. It was four pieces. I'm going to show you the four. It was a $450 order. All Louis Medique pottery. I will tell you, there are a lot price lower, but I have 60 pieces and I decided I feel like, look, we got a new offer. I feel like they are worth more than what people are asking. I know historically, according to Worth Point, they have sold for more. This one sold for $90.00. Pretty basic, simple bowl. Again, you can read the Medique. The cool thing, this was only a five inch bowl for $90. Somebody watched my listings. I sent them an offer and they wrote me back and said they had a story that their dad had met Louis Medique in person. This is Mr. Medique. They sent me these photos that their dad took back in the 70s and they told me, please feel free to use these photos in your listings so people will connect more with the artist. They said they could not afford the piece, but they felt it was worth it and they hoped that I could help his pieces regain value. And that is what I am hoping to do. These are beautiful, beautiful pieces of artwork. This is the first one. Here is number two. This one also sold for $90, really pretty brown with the speckle inside, marked Medik. Another one, this one's a little over six inches and I put the pictures of him in. Again, the sale was a $450 sale total. 
This piece sold for $194. Wait till you see how small it is. But look at the beautiful glaze work on that. This is just a beautiful little jar. Again, signed Medik. Four inches, guys. It's four inches. It sold for almost $200. Mr. Medik was an amazing potter. He did tons of different pottery styles. He like copied from different styles and just did a bunch of different stuff. It was absolutely amazing. So this one by itself was over $150 profit. And here is the last one. This one sold for $130. Beautiful olive green. I believe this should have had a lid that was missing, but still an amazing, amazing piece. I'm hoping this collector will come back for more because I got 62 pieces of this. Again, little five-inch jar, about a $75 profit here. I paid only about $15 a piece. I did pay up for them. I did pay up. So... Let's go ahead and talk about my camp. All right, I know this video is long. If you're still here with me, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you are wondering how to do this yourself, there are a couple of ways you can learn. You can watch myself. I have tips, I have how-tos, I have photography lessons, I have ever, everything you need to be able to sell on eBay is in my free videos. If you would like hands-on training, I am doing an eBay retreat seminar. It will be two full days of classes, hands-on learning. The first one coming up is coming up in just under a month and has one class only spot available. That is $400. It includes the classes for two days as well as your food. You would need to find lodging in the Orlando, Florida area as all accommodations are sold out. And then in May, I booked a gorgeous 16 bedroom cabin on top of the mountain, indoor pool, beautiful views. That will be camp number two. That will be May 15th to 18th. There are two, two private king rooms still available and there are bunk rooms top and bottom. The bunk rooms are for ladies only because 80% of my viewers are ladies. Speaking of, if you're not subscribed, make sure you are. And if you think you are, make sure you are because YouTube lately has been unsubscribing people from channels. So check and make sure you're subscribed to me. The other way to learn how to do this is to join my membership. I do eBay store reviews. I do live sourcing to help you find the items to list and I do live shipping. So all of that can help you learn how to do this. And finally, if you want more intense one-on-one, -on -one, I do offer personal coaching. You can email me cat at the nurse for more info. I am going to go. It is pouring rain. Not sure if you can hear it out there. It's really, really loud on the tin roof of the shed. I am going to drive three hours down south to Venice Beach, Florida, where it should not be raining. Should be sunny. I'm going to go pick up an amazing auction haul with some really eclectic stuff, some Native American stuff. And I'm going down south to pick up my auction haul, find some amazing shark's teeth, shark's teeth and have fun with Dalton. Yesterday we went to Bush Gardens, we rode some roller coasters, Dalton got to go on the train, we got to feed kangaroos, it was just absolutely amazing. So I absolutely am loving being a full-time reseller and I hope you have had an amazing week. I will see my Shipping Live members on Monday. Monday is a Shipping Live, so if you are in the higher tier of my membership, we will be doing live shipping on Monday. And we also will be doing our sourcing live for these items like this, high dollar items. We will look and see what we can find in your area as part of the membership tomorrow night as well. So I will see my members tomorrow and Monday afternoon. The rest of you, I will see Monday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a What Sold video over the weekend. I hope you have a great one. Bye for now, guys.